what's, what's hilarious is when Brenda and I were talking about you coming in, we're both like, oh, what's Billy going to be wearing? <laughs> <laughs> what's Billy's going to be wearing? And you're wearing a jumpsuit yeah, I, I love. Say, didn't disappoint. Oh, oh they're not you, at it? all. You're spending a lot of time here now, aren't you? Yeah, okay. I love London. It's like a second home to me. I love the history. I love the art. I love the culture. I love the people. Oh. I love the accents. Oh, I love yeah. the way you say my name. Billy, Billy Porter. Billy Porter. <laughs> very important. I sound very thin <laughs> when you say it. I love that. <laughs> now you've got you've got a new album out. I you? do. Tell Black us about Mona it. Lisa. Yes, Black Mona Lisa has been thirty plus years in the making. Um, my first R and B mainstream album came out in nineteen ninety seven. Mm. 27 years ago. I know Black Don't Crack. I'm 54. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. But the business back then was very homophobic, mm. and there wasn't really a place for me. And uh, through my multi-hyphenated life and career, the blessing of that is that I've been able to create a space for myself anyway. Yeah. Mm. And so now I get to go back, come back into the mainstream music space. Yeah. And um, I've created this pop album that is a celebration of life and love and joy and peace and hope, all the stuff that we've sort of drifted away from. Um, and it's my magnum opus, I'm calling it, thus far. <laughs> um, you know, I'm saying all the things that I want to say. I'm singing the music that I want to sing. I wrote them all except for one. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so... I'm so happy about this this project. It's one of the greatest. It's one of the greatest achievements of my life. Well, wow. talking about you, your singing and, and writing and everything, I, I'm just absolutely overwhelmed. You know, I'm overwhelmed <laughs> that you're here. You couldn't just give us a little blast of something. Oh, from say your... yes, uh, sure, sure. Oh, sure. Right. We didn't plan nothing. Huh? We didn't plan. Well, no, I. You know what? I got it because I thought maybe he will. So I'm going to have a mic ready. All right. Well, this song is the last song on my album. It's called. Audacity, I'm just gonna you I'm just gonna sing a little snippet for okay. you. <clears throat> when I was a kid, silence was my self defense. Fear was my default. Anger was my first call. After many years, I figured out my best revenge is to forgive the enemy by simply choosing happy. The audacity to show up honestly. How dare I believe that it's okay to be me? The audacity to speak without trembling, to fear not of my words, to fear not of my worthy. Oh, and you have to get the album to hear the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. Churchy. Yeah. That's where I started singing. I started singing in the church. At five I years was five old. years old. Yeah. And you know, I've left traditional religion. Religion is man-made, spirituality is divine. I'm more of the latter now. But my mother, my mother always says, I love my mom. And she's, you know, she says, You may have left the church, you may have left religion, but every time you open up your mouth to sing, it ain't nothing but Jesus. <laughs> She's right. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's so beautiful is you talk about the difference in the industry 27 years ago in 97 to what it is now. But in terms of being your true and open self, so much more of that came through as a result of doing Pose, didn't yes. it? Because you were, you then decided at that point, what, in 2021, to be open about your, your diagnosis? Your yeah, diagnosis. you know, the, uh, the change has already happened. I speak about that all the time. One of the reasons for the universal pushback is because of that. Things have already changed, right? I am sitting in front of you with a career that on paper I was not supposed to be having, mm. right? So I come into this time really blessed. It's a real gift and it's a real blessing. And I'm just really, you know, I like to focus on the positive of all of it right now. 
Um, and I'm just really happy. I love that. I have to ask you about the fashion. Yes. What inspires you? Do you style yourself? How do you come up do with these I style looks? Myself? I used to style myself. <laughs> I now Are you part I'm part of the process, though. Yes, of course. Looks I'm, and... I'm totally a part of the process. <laughs> Um, you know, once again, I started singing in church. I started uh, dressing in church. The black church is a fashion show, yes, so is. they will talk about you if you are not snatched up. <laughs> not very Christian, but they do. Yes, they do. You learn quick uh -huh. that you have to, you know, and so that's where it started. My grandmother was a seamstress. She used to use all the Vogue patterns and the Chanel patterns uh -huh. and dress the ladies. My favorite time of year was Christmas and Easter because I would always get a Christmas and Easter suit, a new suit every year. So it's just an extension. And, uh, you know, my goal has been to show up as a walking piece of activist yeah. art. Every time I show up, because, you know, being first generation post-civil rights movement, we were taught that it's what you look, it's how you, people judge you from yeah. what you look well, like yeah. first, yeah, you know? And so that's important. Mm -hmm. um, my, my, also, my great aunt said, dress for the job you want, not the one you have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying mm -hmm. to, being a, a, a mogul. I'm trying to run <laughs> stuff, so I'm gonna dress like I'm running stuff. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I really love that. And um, Black Men and Lisa is out now, isn't it? Yes, Brilliant. it is. And honestly, the fact that you brought us to church on this Monday mm. afternoon oh, means so amazing. much to us. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Porter. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. I love that the title is Ruth Women. Yeah. Women. I love that.